Well, I'm joined now from Washington by Michael Scheuer, who's a senior CIA operations officer until 2004. His 22 years at the agency included running the Osama bin Laden tracking unit. Michael Scheuer, the ex-GCHQ boss, seems to think that the threat from British jihadis in Syria justifies in some way uh, this mass surveillance we've been hearing about. Do you agree? Well, I I'm afraid uh, what we're paying for here is a necessity. Um, the, the, you know, Mr. Mr. Blair and Mr. Cameron and, and President Bush and Mr. Obama have, for the last decade, lied to Brit Britons and Americans about the seriousness of the war we face against a growing percentage of Islam. We may not want to recall, call it a religious war, but that's what they're waging against us. For religious reasons, they're fighting our intervention in their part of the world. And because they've not, they've misled their electorates, they're desperate. The, this sort of universal interception of telephone records and emails and text messages is nothing but desperation because they know bad things are coming our way and they want to try to prevent them so they don't get exposed okay, to their but falsehoods. Okay, but should that desperation extend to um, uh, mounting surveillance operations against Britons who are not suspected of any wrongdoing at all? Well, you have to remember, I'm sitting here in a country where 340 million Americans are being monitored by NSA at the direction of the most lawless president we've had since Nixon, Mr. Obama. So, and the Fourth Amendment to our Constitution has been virtually shredded. Uh, so it, I, I don't have a lot of uh, surprise about what's going on anywhere in the world. And I, I, again, uh, go ahead. Are I'm you sorry. surprised, though, in any way that, as we revealed last night, the Americans were prepared to snoop on British citizens and the UK wouldn't be told? I mean, does that cross a line? No, I don't. You know, it, it, yes, it crosses the line in the theoretical sense, but you have to remember it, it happens all the time. The British uh, intelligence service helped to force the Americans into World War I and World War II. This is a long time uh, uh, method of, of behavior by all intelligence services, ma'am. But you have to remember that the intelligence services are the peculiar creatures of the head of state, of the, of the prime minister in Britain uh, and of the president of the United States. They do nothing without the approval of those individuals and without legal sanction. So when you blame NSA or CIA or MI5 or MI6, it, it, it behooves us to step back and say, why are these people doing these things? Who authorized it? And it's the people we never want to blame, our prime ministers and our presidents. So presumably you'd be, you'd be happy in the same context for the Britons to uh, spy on the Americans without telling them likewise. I, I'm, I've, you know, I'm, I was in the business quite a while, ma'am. I always assumed that a lot of things went on that I didn't know about that I wouldn't approve of. But my, my job was to carry water for the United States, and that's what I did. Michael Scheuer, thank you very much.